Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is my birthday, y'all. So happy birthday to me. I tried to actually film this film this video yesterday morning and it did not record it. I don't know what was going on. So I'm gonna try this again this morning and we're gonna go through this quickly because it is already late this morning and I need to get out the door. So we are gonna be talking about my November debt update. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five debts that I'm working on. My goal is to pay off as much, as much, as much debt as I can next year. So we want to start off strong. So we're going to start off with Wells Fargo. Um, our beginning balance was $773.41. Um, Ashley's one was starting off at $24.65 and 68 cents. Okay, it did not write all of that. 24, 65, 68. Um, my lows started off at 30, 50, 35, oops, 35. And then my small student loan is 48, 07 and 68 cents. And then lastly, my Amex is 63.53.08. So just a quick background of my debt, if you are new to my channel. Um, in September, I was actually in a car accident and I did have a vehicle, but that car was totaled. And so now it is paid off. My husband ended up buying me a vehicle. And so he is paying for that vehicle. So we kind of just like swap debts. So he had this Lowe's card that's on a 0% interest. So I took over those payments and then I took over another payment that would kind of equal out to what the car payments were. They were actually only only $30 more than what I was originally paying um, for a, a newer vehicle. So it wasn't that much of a difference. And we were trying to stay in that as well, too, to not break the bank. So right now, my beginning balance now is going to be $17,450.20. And that is why I also want to be able to pay off as much debt as possible, because eventually I will potentially take that loan back over and put it into my name. Um, what I budget monthly for these credit cards is $25 for Wells Fargo, 90, and these are the minimums, 96 for Ashley, Lowe's is 35, Nelnet is 45, and Amex is 260. Um, also with this um, Amex, it's not actually a credit card. Um, it's a Wells Fargo personal loan that I use to pay off my um, Amex. And I probably should just change Amex to Wells Fargo loans so it's not confusing. But I know what it is, so I leave it that way. So um, now we're going to talk about um, what I have paid this month for the month of November. And so for Wells Fargo, I actually ended off paying off the total balance, you guys. Um, so all of the money went to the principal because it's already been closed and I owe zero dollars. So that, oh, no wonder. Let's fix that, 77341. Um, and so now we're at a zero ending balance for Wells Fargo. So that card has been put to rest. I'm so glad I was able to pay it off sooner rather than later. Um, next is going to be Ashley's Furniture. Uh, $96 went to the principal since that card is on a 0% interest. For Lowe's, Lowe's also got $35 and that is on a 0% interest. So um, that went down um, all that money. Next is going to be Nelnet. Nelnet, the interest is 3.4% and uh, $34 and 78 cents went to um, interest, I mean principal, and then $10 and 22 cents went to interest. <clears throat> And then we have my Amex card. So principal for that was $159 and 69 cents. And for interest was $100 
and 31 cents. Oh, let's add that 100 actually and 31 cents. So that is where we are for our numbers, you guys. So if you look down here, I have my monthly progress here. <clears throat> where we were at um what is it we started off at seventeen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and twenty cents and we ended off at sixteen sixteen thousand three hundred and fifty one dollars and thirty two cents down here you'll see the difference between last month and this month my monthly overall progress was a thousand ninety eight and eighty eight cents that i put towards debt which included me paying off my wells fargo credit card I forget how I did this percentage here <clears throat> in terms of um, what this meant that I paid off, um, but I'll figure out what I did, y'all. Um, and then next, I need to put the total debt that I started the year off with. I didn't write it down here on my cheat sheet, so we're going to go and have to look at October. So it was... Um, Let's do copy and this was my starting debt here. So I started off the year at $48,435.20 and this month I'm at $16,351.32. So overall with my car being paid off and all the additional uh, debt, which this, this picture doesn't show how many times that I've actually charged money to another card and then paid it back off. I could have had so much more money paid off, but I'm going to better myself for next year, but overall progress is $32,083.88. So that is about 33% of the total debt that I had, which also doesn't make sense either. I, it should have been based off of this. I need to fix these percentages, y'all. Um, but 32,000 out of the 48% of the debt paid off. So I'm looking good here. Um, as you guys can see down here, I have like some of my um, investments on here. Um, I'm going to start that potentially in January, but I wanted to play around with it and see what I liked. I already put down this number for Robinhood. I don't have my numbers for my 401k. I do need to log in and do that stuff. But like I said, I'm going to be worried about those things come January, although my full focus will be on debt. Um, next over here, I have a little bit of a working monthly network. I already saw before I started this video, there's some things that I need to fix on here. But in terms of cash, um, altogether cash on hand for just me, this is not our household. I have $322.18. That's money out of my like personal spending account and then also my working uh like bills account and then for investments we had uh 40162 like i said i'm not including all the other stuff and then zero for personal savings right now so in total cash on hand or just network money i have 723 dollars and 80 cents versus my $16,351.32 worth of debt. So I'm hoping that over the next month in 2024, this number will get bigger and this number will get smaller. Okay, y'all. So this is just my personal debt. This has nothing to do with my household budget or our household net worth or anything like that. But that concludes y'all my debt update for November. It was nice, quick, and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the